This is Asgar. He's four years old and was born with diplegic cerebral palsy. He's currently waiting for spinal SDR surgery, selective dorsal rhizotomy. We're going to be making him a brand new pair of AFOs or ankle foot orthoses to help him maximise the results of that surgery and get him walking with the best gait pattern possible. So we start off by taking a scan of his leg using the LOC 3D scanner app. Uh, you can also see here that our senior orthotist Sam is taking measurements of the leg, ankle and foot to use in the modelling process, as well as things like his height and weight, which all affect the way we manufacture our orthotics. We also measure things like dorsiflexion and plantar flexion, i.e. how much movement he has in his ankle, also checking for things like leg length discrepancies as well. Next up, Sam talks through specialised custom footwear options for Asga. Footwear is really important when it comes to orthotics. Even a really well-made pair of AFOs in the wrong footwear can negatively impact gait pattern and affect overall mobility. We have a whole range of footwear that can be used with our AFOs that have clever opening systems, or we can adapt regular shoes depending on what a patient wants. After that, we double-check the 3D scan of Asga's foot before sending it to our in-house manufacturing workshop uh, to be mailed out to create the perfect mould for his AFOs. But before he goes, Asga's got to choose the pattern he'd like on his new AFOs first. After he's recovered from surgery, we'll be following up with Asga to fit his new AFOs and check that they're working with an assessment in our gait laboratory.